Today I'm going to show you a simple method of uh, coming up with new juggling props. All you have to do is uh, to divide a paper into as many squares as you'd like really and uh, then assign a number to each square and uh, a prop to each number. The idea is to come up with which props you will use in three different manipulation sessions. Uh, you can roll multiple times for each session if you'd like or you can go with just one, one type of prop. The important part is to think about the props themselves. You can do everything with just one prop as well. Then you just go and juggle with those props, which you randomly choose. And uh, after you're done, or while you're juggling, think about um, the qualities of each prop. And yeah, this method is obviously heavily inspired by what I've seen in the Manipulation Research Laboratory DVDs. When you're finished, uh, juggling, you should just go back and think about what you experienced with these props and what qualities each one has, which sets it apart from other props. The hard part is actually coming up with uh, an, a new prop from these old props, right? Because combining everything into one thing might not be the best approach, I guess. Uh, so you don't have to have like equal amounts of every prop in your new prop. It doesn't even have to have anything of your old props in your new prop. Like the goal of this is not actually to combine all the old props into one new prop or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's just a little game to spark your creativity, I guess. But of course, if you would actually come up with a way to unify every prop into one ultimate prop, that would be uh, amazing, yeah. So, what I did in this uh, session was that I picked the prop which I liked the least, which is the circus bike. I mean, damn, that just sucked, didn't it? So, I'm going to use the circus bike to make a new prop and some other things which come in handy. Uh, so, rest in peace, circus bike. And, uh, of course, since I prepared this beforehand, uh, yesterday actually, uh, I already have the prop finished. Here it is. Bam! So the new prop I made ended up being conceptually very similar to the Borsikin, I don't know how to say his name, sorry, uh, but, uh, head bouncing platform. Uh, so it's uh, basically a mix of the Diablo handsticks and that platform in the end. So none of the other props really made any difference except it's made from bicycle parts and yeah, Diablo string. The next step is uh, simply going crazy and researching your new prop. Um, I just... Uh, I don't have any real strategy here, as you can see, I'm just messing around. And obviously I'm thinking Diablo will work very well together with this uh, new prop, because it has a Diablo string, right? So I'm trying to do stuff with that, but sadly I, I have like no skills with Diablo, so... Not very interesting, I'm afraid. Um, imagine once uh, someone who actually can do like for Diablo slow and um, balance can get this, and that they will do like double Diablo bounce, you know, columns on this platform or this, you know, uh, bow staff or whatever it is, and uh, doing like for Diablo slow around the leg. That's going to be crazy, dude. It's going to be so um, uh, badass and stuff. So anyways, that's, that's all I had to show you today. Thanks for watching.